you know, you know the, the, the background behind the body shell was I would built over a number of years a Mexico for my son. It was his first car. We found a really low mileage Mark I Escort and absolutely mint body shell. We'd put in the 1600 engine with the side drafts, you know, with the limited slip diff, the whole lot. Um, when he moved on from that, I actually brought that car back, back off him and that was going to be what this car was built out of. A, a good friend of mine, Blair Woodhead, who'd um, been involved with me and co-driven for me over the years and helped building a, a number of my cars, he was interested in the engine out of it. So I took it down to him one day and um, just as he could take it for a drive. And when he came back around, came back, he was like, Greg, you know, I actually wouldn't mind the engine, the gearbox, the diff and the suspension. And he had another immaculate Mark I that was sitting in his, his garage that he had already started to dismantle and, and, and pull apart. So we, we, we came up with the scheme, well, hang on Blair, why not take this car and I'll take your body shell and you can paint this one for me when, when it's finished. So, um, so the car that I built for, built for my son, he now has that. And this car was, was built out of an immaculate you know, registered car that you know, he had tucked in, in his shed. So the, the, the original, original concept to build a, a, a BDA was um, Neil and uh, Neil Allport and myself, who both you know, shared a passion for the, uh, the early Ford works cars, we'd come up with a, a great idea that we'd build one and go halves. Um, and that was probably very early in the 2000s. And um, we did in fact go and we brought a donor car. We found a, a, you know, a, a good shell to, to base it on. Um, that, that project started, but as we got into it, it was sort of the writing was on the wall. It really one car between the two of us wasn't going to work. So uh, Neil carried on with that project and that is the car that he got on the road some 12 or 18 months ago. And then separately, I started this project. The Targa I've only I competed at once in, in 1996, back in the days when I had a Laser TX3i four-wheel drive rally car. Uh, it was a successful event for us. We did win our, our category. Um, not my f most favourite bit of motorsport I, I did, because back in those days you had a target time, and if you exceeded that, if you bet that target time, you weren't rewarded. You weren't rewarded with the time. So. I, I found it frustrating when I'd driven my heart out and, you know, put a good stage, but it was, you know, it was five seconds under the target time and, and that's, that's all you were given. Um, the event's moved on since then and, and today is a, a true tarmac rally. Uh, so I, I didn't actually get back to the target till 2013. I competed in two of the events in my previous Mark I Escort and then, you know, this year, um, the Targa of the North Island, that was the first event for this car. The car was in fact run in on the Tuesday night before on the motorway. Uh, the next drive that I had in it was from Penrose to Drury to Scrutineering and Park Ferme. So we, um, so driving to you know, stage one, it was, well I guess we'll get a great understanding of what this does when we arrive at the first corner. and. Um, um, I have, have to say it, 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 yeah, in my opinion, it was, it's an impressive car, you know, it just does everything so, so right and, and probably much to the surprise of myself, you know, we, we found ourselves in that first stage, we were um, second overall in the classic two-wheel drive um, and, you know, had won our class quite convincingly, so, yeah, um, awesome car to drive.